Hi, welcome to Floss Tube number 56. My name is Selena and I live in Salford in the UK. So, if you are here and you don't know why, I'm going to talk about cross stitch. Sometimes on my videos can appear some other crafts like knitting, crochet uh, or paper related. But today I'm only going to talk about cross stitch. So first of all is the 8th of June 2022 and it is a Wednesday. Usually I do my videos on a Tuesday but yesterday was my son's birthday. The eldest one is 16 now so and usually I'm the doing a lot of things so last week I was helping preparing the Jubilee on one of our groups and it wasn't easy I didn't have any time sorry about any noises that you can hear everybody is at home Ricardo my youngest is still on break but um, at this time usually they are all at home today i think it is preparing to rain again it was already sun and then rain but that's what we can have it uh, first of all uh, sorry if you did a comment make a comment on my last video but i will return to you saying that I read the, the, the comments because I didn't check anything. Um, I came around three, but only now I am able to do the video. And I want to do a video, otherwise it is another week. So if you are new, I hope you like what you see and will come back. And if you are new, so welcome. And I hope to see you again. And if you are one of my regular viewers or subscribers, thank you so much for being with me on this journey. And welcome too. So, and I hope that you keep coming and we'll have a reason to stay and come back. So... Let's start. I'm going to talk about some of my projects that or my whips that I worked and a small start that I start redundant. So let's start. So the first one that I'm going to show you is this one. It's called The Present Just For You by DMC. I'm working on 16 count white Adam and I'm doing two over two, two over one, sorry. And this is what you saw last time. And this is where I am now. So. I start, I finish one of the gloves, sorry, I finish one of the gloves and I think it was this one that I finished, well I completed this one and I start and finish this one, I had only 10 stitches around here, I put a lot more green on the bow and I did 502 stitches since last time. Really, really enjoying. But this project is on my Whipco board and it wasn't called yet, but I accomplished the goal. So it's going away until it appears on my rotation again. But I'm really behind on my goals probably won't appear again until the end of the year but anyway 
here it is and now you can compare the before and the now uh, i just want to let you know that i'm using the call for colors if i didn't say that before the other project that i'm going to show you is this one magical swamp by stitchy princess um you can find this pattern at at Etsy or on Etsy and this is what you saw last time and this is where I am now so I'm doing a sal um, and the hashtag is stitchy princess sal and the other hashtag is stitch for ukraine i will link down below and i have my my instagram too sorry and i'm really really enjoying this one i'm using 32 count um linen in olive and i'm doing two over two with the call for threads so you can see already the frog the frog and the sun is complete and i'm doing the stone where they when where he is so now you can compare the before and the now i managed to put 109 stitches not a lot but this one will be worked on until it's until it's finished so until now i have 18 and 72 percent done or complete the other one that i'm going to talk about is this one uh, rabbit feet by cross stitch studio artwork by vivi crandall so this is what you saw last time i'm using it i'm working on 28 count easy guide lugana and doing one over one with the call for colors and this is where i am now i took the um, green guard to show that so i completed um the other diagonal so i'm using the method uh, diagonal cross stitch i will link down below um danny's vanny's um channel from uh, thread the needle she explains really well this method so i will link down below and you can always visit her and uh, subscribe today my words are so I completed the, this diagonal. I I started and completed, and I started the other diagonal. The page finished more or less around here. So now I'm like feathering, if you can call it. Uh, but the first page finished around this this block. You only see background so i still need to do seven no counting with one that i did in this i think six more diagonals until you see anything from the the rabbit but because i'm will be working on the horizontal on the this row so you only see the foot <laughs> Sorry, it was a mobile phone. Sorry about any noises that that you can hear. It's only because if I don't do it now, I I won't do it. So I managed to put nine hundred and thirty six stitches. This one, I have a total. I made a total of five thousand stitches, 
and it was one of the goals and it was the goal for February the one that I said before uh, present just for you it wasn't called yet so uh, but in the month that it is called I will show where I am and probably I will do at least 100 to 250 stitches because sorry <laughs> stitching notes because it will be cold and probably I'll put up some stitches but I complete the goal for this one uh, it appears twice on my whip go board and I will link down below um, Jessie's Marie uh, channel uh, so uh, whip go board was created by Jessie Marie to help her um, touching on the to help her out to touch the the whips that she had and she knew that she wasn't going to work on so it was a way to touch some of the whips that usually um, are in the box if you can call it like that but i will link it down below visitor and subscribe of course probably most of you are already subscribed but anyway and um so i'm at 1.5 percent uh complete not a lot but slowly and steady so here i have more than 500 stitches so i have 500 and 35 stitches so not bad and now you can compare the before and the now pictures so the next project is this one rabbit uh, by x stitch with us so this is what you saw last time and this project was on time off because I did a big boo-boo, <laughs> boo-boo, whatever. I used the wrong color, the red one. So this is what, you didn't see it, but when I frog that color, it is this picture. And I managed, so I managed to frog it, didn't, did any mistakes. And after that, I managed to put 228 stitches. Sorry about that. My son took two twists, two teeth. Yeah, two teeth. Uh, because he's going to put braces and <laughs> he's holding like this. Sorry. So, this is what you. I, I finished before I started working again when I frog it and I managed to put 228 stitches so now I'm just sorry about the the flaws but I was still working until I started other thing but anyway so this is where I am now i i did the color that it was wrong so i changed it and i didn't count that stitches and then i worked more here and i did a little bit more on the white that i don't know if you can see it i don't think so but anyway oh like this you can see it um and i start working on other color i'm enjoying the project but now i'm paying more attention what i'm doing because there's some similar colors and then i will do another mistake so slowly but surely so now you can compare the before and the now pictures 
so um because my kids the school is almost finished and i'm doing some gifts for the teachers um and one of the teachers was really good for my eldest son so i'm doing a small gift and then i will give you the box of chocolates and from cross stitch cross teacher september 2021 i'm doing this small rabbit and um, it is, the designer is Doreen Jones and I'm using um, linen from Amazon that I had there here I think it is from Amazon because a lady gave me and she said that she bought some things from Amazon and I know that some people complain that is not uh, the count vertical vertically is not the same as uh, horizontally so I'm using this and I did oh I forgot to tell that rabbit is almost completing the goal but I still need to do some stitches to complete the goal but hopefully next week it'll be done the, the goal not the project sorry so this rabbit uh, i'm calling it little rabbit because i'm doing a lot of rabbits um i'm doing two over two and it is floss from my stash but i think i did a mistake i need to count it again and i did almost where do i have it let me see i will let you know how many stitches i have done oh i did 212 stitches not a lot because i want to finish this one and start the other ones for ricardo stitches so not a lot but hopefully i will see where i have the mistake and i will try to complete um one thing where did i put it oh my gosh it's all over the place so one thing that i know that I'm not going to put is the word hello I'm going to put some of the orange flowers because there's some orange flowers like it's not snowflakes but you know like a, a beard and probably I'll put some here and that's it that's the only thing that i had to show you sorry i appear here suddenly just to let you know that i have some plans but usually i don't talk well i'm not going to talk about them this week because usually i don't use don't do what i say so let's see if i'm going to do it the only thing that I'm going to say is I'm going to work again on rabbit feet. I'm going to work at rabbit. I'm going to try to do the kids gifts. And I'm going to restart working on dreaming color. And magical swamp. And probably pandemic by long dog samplers or hello dear sunshine petal or pumpkin by caterpillar stitch and I'm going to restart working on retrievers 
by channeling because I still didn't complete the goal so it will come back until I complete the goal and then goes on time out until it's called on my routine my rotation and I have more projects that I want to touch but I don't know so come back to the end of <laughs> you will go back to the end of the video bye so now I'm going to teach you a Portuguese word so I think I already said this one but I'm going to say it again because there's a lot of rabbits here um, my husband's surname, so the kid's surname, is Coelho. That means rabbit in English. So the word in Portuguese is Coelho. Say it after me. Coelho. <laughs> it is a, a word difficult because... L, L. It's a sound that you learn when you are at school. L H is L. And now that's it. I don't have anything else to do to to say to you or to show you. Um, well, I wanted to have more, but that's what I have. I hope that you like and you will come back and. That's it. Hope that all of you are okay. We are all okay here at home. My father and my sister in Portugal, they have the COVID, but it is almost finished. So my sister had first and then my father, but now they are okay. So that's it. I don't have anything else to say. Hopefully, well, I don't have any laundry outside. Yesterday I, I did, but today I don't. But that's life. I live in Salford, near Manchester, so usually it's sunny, and then you have rain, and then you have sunny. Well, you have sun. And then it's cold, wind, then sun again, and then rain. Never mind. Inside the house doesn't rain so until now. So we never know. Hope to see you next week. Stay safe. Bye.